welcome again to another video so on this video we're going to see how we can do the continuous integration continuous development on a shared hosting which is a cpanel so if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing liking and sharing this content actually we have shortage of subscribers so we want to reach at least 1000 subscribers so if you want to support this channel please just subscribe and consider sharing this content so again if you are still facing some challenges how you can deploy your project to cpanel or any linux server please i will leave the link in the description just to go to my five account and i have some jigs there please consider looking for which jig suits you and i will answer the message as soon as possible so without further words let's just get started we are going to create a github repository and we are going to do this by using our vs code and we are going to push some code on github then on github we're going to create some actions then we are going to use the ftp deploy to edit the we have the, this we call the master.yml and then we are going to create our secret keys then we are going to learn our jobs and we are going to make some changes to our code and push again and to see if these changes can be reflected automatically by using the CICID uh, CICID development so let's start with the first point so let's go to our VS code as you can see here so on VS code I have this folder is called github actions and then on github actions I have index.html which is a just a boilerplate HTML, HTML just to see how we can change our codes and so far okay now so if we have this one let us just say on the title let us give it like uh, let's say github actions and then let's just put here header one of uh, let's let's just say that we have welcome let's say welcome to production okay so this is our production server and let us save this okay now as soon as we have this now we just needed to push this code to github and then we can see how we can proceed to the second step which is creating our github actions so just simple if you're on vs code just go here and check this just make sure that you have git installed on your computer okay now here let us just push directly to github okay we just need to allow this and okay it takes time just this depends on how internet speed is so we just want to push it on a on a public repository just select public and then of course oh, we just need github actions and okay now good we have successfully pushed it to our github so let us see on github if we have this folder here let's go to github yeah, okay good now as you can see that on our github we have this github actions and now let us click here Okay, now we are inside our github repository which is called github actions so let us go to second step so the second step is to create github actions and github actions come to come here and press actions and then so we need to set up a workflow for ourselves now okay as you can see here we have which is called i mean we have our folder here github actions and 
GitHub actions we have dot GitHub then workflows and here we just need to rename here instead of main we can just call it master okay we can just call it master if you have another action you can call it maybe staging okay now okay now click here commit in your file okay so guys we have our github actions as you can see inside our github actions we have this is called dot github slash workflow and then inside we have master dot yml so the other thing we have to do that we can go back to our vs code if we are here to our vs code we just need to pull this branch you can just pull it here okay we just don't need to do the hard way as you can see now we have this here we have github action and inside github actions we have workflow and inside workflow we have this we call it master.yml of course we don't need this this code here we just delete them now after doing this we are going to the third step on the third step what we have to do is that if we go to marketplace here and just search for ftp it's called ftp deploy so we're going to use this one here we just need to copy this one here we copy this and let us come and paste them here to our master.yml and as you can see that says that on push so we need to do this so i just want to tell you that here we need to put your server and here you can put your ftp username but we are not going to do this instead here also we are going to use the secret as a secret on password so we just need to copy this one here and we need to paste it here and then instead of it F ftp underscore password we are going to call it ftp user name and then we need just to add some server data here it means the directory we are going to push our code dir so guys on server dr here we just need to specify where do we need to deploy our project so for us we are going to deploy it on our subdomain which is called production.cypher.co.tz for you maybe you can be pro, uh, deploying to your server which maybe it is some domain.com so here you need to specify so for me i'm just going to deploy it on which on production production dot cipher dot co dot tz okay so this is a folder show so should end with a trading slash okay now i'm saving this let us just have a simple reasoning here of course when you want to push your code you just need that when you are pushing to the master branch you only need that your code to your website or your application should be should be changed and then you can just decide that you can just decide to push on master or decide to push on staging so here we are going to make some small modification so the simple modification you're going to do here is just we need to delete this on push and then we just need to leave on and then we have to put this one so what we mean here that when we want to push so we need to select the branch which is a master so whatever this happen whatever happens inside here 
this should be reflected to our master branch so that means this should be direct go to our production server okay we are done here on master.yml let's go to github so on github if we go to action here see the first action was to create our I mean it's called master YML which was successful but this action we tried to push our code as you know that if you are pushing our code as we explained here that our code should be go direct to our C panel and should go direct to this production .co.tz but as you can see here is that nothing is working and nothing is working because we haven't set the secret username and secret password so just go to settings here and on settings let's go for secret we have here secret and then actions and then we need to create a new repository secret okay now our secret let us call it ftp username and let us keep with our value and here should be your username your username and you add secret and then you create new secret and this should be your ftp password and here you put your your password and you add here okay now after adding your secret password it's time to go and it's time to go and relearn our job and see if we can have this to our production okay now let's go back to actions here after going to back to actions as you can see here master is still putting x and then you click here master and then come here rerun jobs and should select rerun all jobs okay guys as you can see after rerunning all our jobs you can see that our master is has given us the tick so this means that our job has been our actions have been done so the other thing we just want to do here is just let us go to our production see what we have here so production dot cipher dot co dot tz no this one actually production okay I see ah, okay good now we can see that we have our HTML page here it says welcome to production so guys as you can see that we have we are now already we have deployed our production so let us just make some changes and see what we can have let's go back to our index.html instead of writing welcome to our production let us Light welcome to production and say testing CI CD and let us save this. So after saving this, let us just uh, let us commit this change here and say let's some changes some test changes and then let us commit them here and let us just give it here let us make some synchronization and then it is it is synchronizing let's go back to our went to our github actions here and see what happens okay so we have 
our push here as you can see some test changes are working once it's done we are going back to our okay now the test ch changes have done let's go back to our page here production.cypher.co.tz and if we refresh this okay now we have this welcome to production testing ci cid so guys as you can see here we are able to deploy automatically our changes to github and then these changes are being reflected to our c panel so as always guys if you're having some problems leave the comments below and then if you can solve your problems i have my fiverr jig here just come here and look for a service I can help you deploy your projects on cPanel, Amazon, and some other Linux servers. So, guys, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you on another video. Please and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.